In this video, I'll show you how to make a dynamic budget and wealth projection in Google Sheets, which is free and which takes into account your after-tax income, your costs, your savings, and how your savings affects your net worth projection. It's going to be quick and easy, so let's get started. Okay, so open a new document in Google Sheets, give it a name, and then we type in income after taxes, because when you're using a budget, you only care about the after taxes income. And then you can set up the work income as well as passive income through capital income if you have any. And then for me, it's about $5,000 a month and the capital income about 700. And the work income includes everything that you make on the side as well. Okay, and for the costs, we have rent, food, clothes, transportation. I also added a various row, which includes everything from traveling costs, subscriptions, buying gadgets, and so on. You can also add additional rows if you want to, if you have any other large expenses. Budgets are, of course, going to vary depending on your life situation. I also added a row for debt payments as well as uh, donations and also a row for the savings. I try to differentiate the savings that I get from my direct transfers from my income and the savings that I get from capital income. That way the money compounds and grows over time. Now, since I share rent with my girlfriend, I only pay $620 a month for rent and for food it's around 400 for clothes, I spend around $50 a month on average. And for transportation, I live in the city, so I only use a bike or a public transportation. So it's around $40 a month on average. And then for various, I add the rest of the typical consumption expenses, such as uh, traveling, subscriptions, presents, and uh, so on. So I put around 400 in uh, that row. And then under debt, I have some student debt, but I just put it in a deposit account. So I earn a bit more interest on that debt than what I pay on it. And that was, of course, due to uh, university being free and being able to live at my parents' place while I studied. And then for donations, I put around $100. And then for the monthly savings, you just take your income minus your costs. And if you get a negative value here, you of course have to either decrease your spending or increase your income. And then for reinvested dividends, I just use the capital income value. Now let's also turn these numbers into currency. So uh, hold and shift to select multiple cells and then holding control to select the last two. And then you can click on the dollar sign to get a dollar amount. And if you want another currency, you can just click on the one, two, three button right next to it. Okay. And then let's select the uh, other column as well so that we can get the pie chart. So hold in shift. And then let's go in to chart, insert chart. And then let's turn this into a pie chart. Some people prefer the donor chart instead of the pie chart because they think it's easier to read, but I think the pie chart looks cooler for a budget. Okay, and then let's drag it. And then backspace to remove the title. You won't really need that. And then I'm going to change the colors. So I'm going to make income blue. Uh, just a slight different shade and then the costs red. So I'm just going to give them a few different shades of red. And then for donations, I'm going to make it green. And then if you want to, you can also add some colors to the text and numbers as well. So hold in shift and then fill color and then alternating colors. Let's make the income green. You can also add custom colors. So uh, play around with the different colors. And then let's make the costs red. 
and then for the monthly savings I'm just going to make it blue. So uh, something like this. And then let's select it and drag it a bit down so that it matches the pie chart. And then you can press Ctrl B to make the text bold. And then next we can make a net worth projection by using the amount of savings you have every month on top of the savings that you already have. So for me it's about 100k with a mix of high yield savings and index funds. And then I'm going to use that number and then add a yearly return. This is of course just average. And after taxes, that should be around 6% a year. And then you add the monthly savings times 12. And remember that this is net worth, so you need to subtract any debt that you have as well. Okay. And then for the monthly savings, you need to add a dollar sign, both uh, before the B and after B, to make sure that that amount is constant and that it doesn't move to other cells. And then we can just drag the age down. I'm just going to drag it to 40. This is of course just a projection. So it's probably going to be very different depending on the life situation over time. But it's uh, just a fun way to display your savings and your potential. And then let's add a charge. I'm going to click backspace once again. And then let's turn this into uh, a dollar amount. Okay. And currency. And there you have the net worth projection as well. And once you have made this budget, it's very easy to change over time. So if you make more money or spend more money on a certain category, you can just change it there and see how it affects your savings and your projection 